First at 11, a mother and daughter gunned down during what deputies say was a domestic dispute. The mom is expected to recover, but her little girl is dead tonight. Authorities say the gunman then killed himself. Less than 24 hours later, the community gathered for a vigil outside 10-year-old Samantha Carpenter School in New Paris tonight, where just a few days ago she was in class anticipating Christmas. Birchelle Edme was there and spoke with those showing their support new at 11. Many community members here say that their pain runs deep, but rather than dwell on that, they say that they're choosing to remember their little angel for every day she smiled and brought them joy. Days before Christmas, New Paris sings carols, but they're mourning the murder of Samantha Carpenter. Her classmate, Charlie Mitchell, organized the vigil for her best friend. She likes to make people smile all the time, and she likes to, she likes to fit in all the time, and I want to do something to make her happy more. How do you feel knowing that she's gone? Sad. Mitchell's mom, Angel Lawson, says she's devastated. I just wish that maybe we knew ahead of time more what was going on. And maybe we could help her. Many other classmates remembered the girl for her outgoing character. I thought that me and Sam would be like best friends forever until I knew about this. It made me very, very sad. Many say that the candles burning here tonight are a constant reminder of what happened. Many say they never wanted to see this type of action take place, but always feared for the worst. One neighbor tells me the couple's prior domestic violence history showed the warning signs. She banged on my door one day, this was about almost a year ago, and said, let me in, please help me, he's trying to kill me. Moments after, the neighbor says the situation escalated. That's when Brian forced his way into my house. He flung the door so fast that I went over the couch. My fiance, Andy, he had to grab him up, literally, and slam him on the ground and choke him out because he was so out of it, violent. Now looking back, this woman wishes she could do more to protect Catherine and her daughter. I just don't understand why. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Why she went back to him so many times knowing that he's a violent person. The community will also never know why Brian Harleman committed the murder-suicide, but they know Samantha Carpenter is in a better place. Tonight, that mother is still recovering in the hospital, and community members say when she is released, they will be here to be her support system. Reporting in New Paris, Birchal Edme, 2 News, working for you.